Hey guys, I'm here, so here we are with another video, a bit of a news today. Many of you were actually asking about it because the official Oculus Link cable for the Oculus Quest, the cable that's gonna let you use your Oculus Quest as a PC VR headset, we already talked about that many, many times, is finally available here in the US and in Canada. We don't have any information yet about Europe right now, but I will be sure to keep you updated in the comment below if the availability happens. So why this video? Well, as you might know, this cable is pretty pricey with a price of $79.99. So we have to understand if this is actually worth it or not. What are the advantages of having this kind of cable directly from Oculus? And what actually changed from the cable that I tried at those C6? because the specs are a little different than before. So let's jump right in and uh, let's discover what's changed and if it's worth it or not, right? Okay, here we are. So let's talk right away why this cable is this expensive. $79.99 actually feels like a lot for a Type-C cable. And well, this is because it uses a different technology. It is actually an optical fiber cable. Optical fiber usually is very expensive. And why are they using this technology? Well, the usual cables that we are using right now, third-party cables, that they actually work for Oculus Link. Well, they are maximum 10 feet. That is around three meters. That is not enough to have a real room scale experience. Well, with this, we're gonna be able to arrive to 15, 16 feet, the advertised like five meters without any problem and retaining the same quality and bandwidth. And talking about specs, this is a new SP 3.2 Gen 1 with a bandwidth of five gigabit per second. That is gonna be able also to retain the three ampere needed to power up the Oculus Quest while using it with the PC. Because right now with some cables, well, the battery that just goes down and then you have the problem that you're not gonna be able to use it anymore, even connected to the PC because the battery is just not there and it's not gonna turn on. Now, is this really a problem? Well, it really depends. Usually the Oculus Quest is a different problem it's not really battery, but it's comfort and keeping it up for like more than three hours is already pretty challenging, but if instead for you it's fine for more than three hours, well, that could be a problem and a reason probably to go for this kind of cable. Also being optical fiber, it's gonna be more flexible than a regular cable. That means it's not gonna get ruined that much and it's actually ending with an L shape. That means that you're not gonna strain that much the cable every time that you move around in your environment. Now it's longer, lighter, more flexible, a single cable. Is that enough to make it worth it? Well, that's really up to you. Also because there's another detail that actually changed from the cable that I tried at OC6. And that's the fact that now it's gonna be USB Type-C to USB Type-C. Well, you have a now connection to the Quest and the straight Type-C connection to the PC. When before we had the Type-A connection over there. Is that a big deal? Well, that depends on your setup on your PC because if you have a Thunderbolt 3 connection or a 3.2 Gen 1 connection in your PC, you're gonna be totally fine and gonna be able to use it. It's actually also backward compatible with USB 2.0 but we don't really know if it's gonna work with the Oculus Link in 2.0, you can just use it to charge your phone. For example, I will probably not buy a $79.99 cable just to charge my phone, by the way. So if you have those parts on your PC or actually also the Virtual Link port on your RTX graphic card, you have the Virtual Link port and nobody uses, well, you're in luck and you're gonna be able to use it. But instead, if you don't have the Type-C port on your PC, well, things are gonna start to get a little complicated because you should need, you probably need an adapter and many adapters don't actually pass through the energy, much energy as well. So probably you're gonna lose the three ampere that are used to power up the Quest while using it. And that could get out all the benefits of having this kind of cable. So yeah, this is the difference. They went from type A that was a little more broad for people to type C than less people have available. Is it a big deal? No, not really, because we have still all the third party cables available. You can also push the quality a little better as we saw in the guide over here that works like a charm. And you can also use extension cords for third party to have a longer cable. 
but yeah this should get a better quality overall be a single cable so uh, not worrying about multiple cable or big attachments between cables and uh, everything should work just fine because we'll be supported directly from oculus is it worth it well 79.99 is a little steep but the technology behind that cable is actually there so it can be justified but let me know what you think about it i know that many of you are actually waiting for this kind of cable directly from oculus to use the oculus link do you think that this is like too much 79.99 is too expensive even if it kind of justified by the technology behind this cable do you think that just that $15 cable from Amazon Basics is actually enough for you? Well, let me know in the comment below. I'm gonna leave anyway down there or the cables as always that I'm using right now and they work like very well, but I'm also gonna grab this cable so we're gonna be able to see maybe in a comparison and understand if it's really worth it or not when it comes to latency or not. Why I wanted to make this video? Well, also because everything is selling out during these holidays 2020 will be the biggest year for vr and you can put a stamp on it and well because everything is going sold out like the oculus quest the rift s the index and many many others probably if you're planning to buy it well it's better just to buy it right now so you don't end up in a situation where like uh, you are in a back order for months but just to make it clear this is not affiliate or sponsored video i just wanted to make people that were asking me during my other videos aware that this cable is now available so you can buy it right now and be able to maybe use it already for christmas and show some real great pc vr games also to your family and stuff so uh happy holidays guys and as always if you like the video like if you didn't like the video like subscribe to the channel for more vr tech and i see you guys next video thanks for watching ciao